when we, if we surround ourselves with people like Xerxes, we will eventually become who we hang out with. Xerxes is used to getting what he wants. Vashti, for whatever reason, doesn't listen. She's banished. And this comes from wise counsel. By the way, if you don't know, sarcasm. Just, just make sure interpreting right here. <laughs> then, getting a thousand virgins, this is a great idea, also comes from wise counsel. And he sees these as good options. You are who you hang out with. You will eventually become what you hang out with. So this is, there's a, this is why this is a little bit dangerous in some ways. If we surround ourselves with people just like us, what will happen is we'll have a, a, a big blind spot. In fact, there's a name for it. It's called groupthink. Where you literally, a good idea or a challenging idea could never be brought in because we, we surrounded ourselves with people of the same background as us and therefore we will not listen to truth because everybody that we put in our sphere says what we believe. It's dangerous. That doesn't m- mean that you're always wrong. But we have to understand, if, if we only surround ourselves with people who um, are, are just of a political group or people who are just of a different financial or even an age, I think it's really important for young people to be engaged with other people of different generations. And it's important for other people of different generations to be around young people. Why? Because blind spots come up and often what advice we get will fuel our, fuel our flesh and not the spirit, not our faith. You'll become who you hang out with. Nowadays, maybe we're hanging out more with our TV celebrity friends on TV or social media than we are with real people. But whoever you're hanging out with will fuel it. Fear. They're out to get you. This is going to kill you. All the worst things are going to happen. Self-righteousness. We're better than them. We would never do that. Beliefs. Always surround yourself with people I know this one person who always wants to come to church and always wants to kind of um, learn stuff, but they will surround themselves with people who are not believers, so they never really make that decision because their core circle are people who are doubters and cynics. Even as Christians, we need to be around people that aren't just like us so we can have a different perspective so we know how to communicate to them. 